What is going on boys and girls? My name is Adam Lucy. This is Moving Weight Fishing and today we are paying our dues. There will be one less bull shark causing you troubles and being a menace in the water as of today. We're about to make shark fin soup. Let's dive right into this video. See where it started. All right, boys and girls, we're at the Jupiter Inlet today and we have a cut in half, pretty much was just live a second ago. He's bleeding jack or ball, giant circle hook. 400 pound pink leader attached to a ball bearing swivel. Penn International 50 wide on a custom rod and we're gonna chuck it out and catch a big bull shark for dinner. I'm craving shark fin soup and that's what we're about to make happen. I'm gonna do a couple big swings here and send it on out. All right, you guys, the sharks here in Jupiter and that, if you're not familiar with them, are an absolute nuisance. So today we are gonna do the Lord's work and remove one of the bull sharks out of the ocean today. Now, personally, one shark is not gonna dent the population, but if all of our fishermen make a tribute to this and come out here and kill a bull shark themselves, we can dent the population and we need to dent the population. It is totally legal. It's ethical, it's hunting big animals, it's hunting game. You're allowed to do it, why not do it? And if you're a fisherman here in South Florida, you know how bad the shark problem is. I mean, it's become an absolute nuisance to our fishery. Sharks now associate humans with food. Um, and that is to our, that is thanks to our shark divers located at Square Grouper. All the shark divers know what they're doing. They know they have totally flipped the switch in these sharks' brains and they just love humans now. And so many people are getting bit, it's unbelievable. And it's, it's terrible for our fishery. It decreases populations. I've never seen a case where sharks are at the top of the food chain and they help keep things in order. That's what I've tried to hear the shark liberals talk about is you know, they keep though they keep the population control. What what population? They just extinct population. I don't think they have any positive benefit to our oceans. And that is my personal opinion. You're entitled to your own. Um, but today we're gonna kill one and we're gonna take it home and eat it. Now, we've been free lining this bait for probably about a minute. We should get eight any second here. As soon as we get eight, we'll let you know. Not even a minute later, I got bit. Picked it up, started running with it. You can see the line peeling off. And I set up into this fish. And these are big head shakes from what I'm guessing is a big bull shark. And if you guys are wondering why I'm doing a voiceover, it's because the next two clips have no audio. I don't know what happened, but I'm just gonna voice them over. So stay tuned because after these two clips, the audio works perfectly fine. So I'm fighting this bull shark it is absolutely dogging me right here. Peeling into the middle of the inlet with the incoming tide, aggressive big head shakes. Um, I know this is a legal size fish. I can tell this is a bull shark. I know it's a keeper fish. So the goal now is to A, not fall in the water, not get pulled in the water by this bull shark, and B, manage to land this fish and harvest them. So about 10 minutes into the fight, this shark starts to get me wrapped up in these little buoys over here. So all these buoys are attached to each other with rope. And on the other side of the rope, on the north side of the rope, there is a reef that runs parallel going south. So I knew I had a lot of structure over there. And this fish, this bull shark, started swimming back and forth in and throughout the buoys and along that reef. And I went into free spool right here I knew I had no time to waste. I had to make a decision. So I decided to get in the water and do whatever I can to save this fish. If my braid nicked the reef or got caught up in that rope, I would have instantly broken off. I only have 80 pound braid on this setup. So I'm preparing to jump in the water. It was freezing cold on this day. It was about 60 degrees in the water and that is very cold for the Florida boys. Now I'm completely in free spool right now. I'm sprinting up the stairs, running down the seawall, trying not to slip, but also trying to keep a little bit of tension on that fish so the hook doesn't wiggle its way out. And with all that slack, that shark can easily swim up the line and cut me off. So my goal right now is to keep this fish 
on and have tension on, but at the same time, not too much tension because he is wrapped up in these buoys. So I don't want him to break me off. So I managed to get the bull shark out of the buoys and away from the reef. I now had this fish beat. He was now mine. Now we just have to land him. So I was pretty much walking the dog here and walking him down the seat wall over towards the shoreline. We then dragged the shark up onto the sand. We then dispatched the shark to put it out of its misery and cut its tail to preserve meat quality. All right, you guys. So we got our shark slab. We also got a good set of fins here. These are our shark fins. And our buddy over here who watches the videos, super randomly walked over and was like, hey, can I have a piece? Of course, that's what it's all about. So he's gonna take the fins, make some soup with it. Ain't that right, brother? Like, yeah, man. So we're gonna give him the fins, but we're also gonna give him a nice slab, a nice, a nice loin here for the house. And never clean the shark, obviously, but it can't be, yeah, it looks pretty different than other fish, but it can't be too different. I'm just gonna probably start right there, make my first cut. And I'm just gonna start by outlining it. Now, the only thing that's funny about sharks is they don't have bones. So there's not, you know, like a rib, a rib bone or a lateral bone that runs all the way down the fish that I can follow to guide this. Sharks are all cartilage. So that's the only thing that's gonna be tricky for today. And you see all this white? See all this white gunk on my knife? I think that is the cartilage that I'm cutting into. Now, I know some fish, it's probably better, and this fish too, it's probably better for me to rest this fish on ice for a couple days, if, if not at least one day. We don't got time for any of that tomfoolery right now. We're just knocking the sides off. And that's what, and that's what we're doing. And I'll tell you what, dude, these things are, pretty hard to clean. You harnessing your inner Victor for this? Yeah, I'm set? trying, but <laughs> I think Vic's got me here. That's the cartilage. See there? Kind of like bone, but it's not. So don't get confused. I wish I could just hold this thing over by now. It's a big piece of meat. I'm about to cut it in half here. It's a little bit easier to work with. All right, I take everything back. These things are hard to clean. <laughs> Treat it like a trigger, inside out. Yeah, right? <laughs> Finally got on the other side here. Treating them just like a sword, yeah? No, sword, <laughs> I can, look, I'm sawing on this thing. I can't get through it. That's our slab of shark. Not a bad looking piece of meat if you ask me. Not a bad looking piece of meat. It's super jagged because I'm playing with a, a knife with edges because like I said, this thing's surprisingly really hard to clean. I'm going to try the other knife here shortly, but that looks like a good piece of meat. You want the skin on or off? If you want to pull it off, that'd be fantastic. I'll pull it off for you. Let me get a knife that actually works. Less work at home. No doubt. So taking the skin off here. A little bit easier with this knife. Probably should have been doing that the whole time. So they do have a good amount of bloodline, what I'm seeing right now. Okay. That's our slab. I'm gonna clean that up. Now all these scraps could be used in the soup, but you already got so many Shark fins to deal with, who wants it? Now, you got a little piece of, looks like the, maybe stomach intestines here. Dude, the meat is tough. Like, I'm talking like, I'm sure it'd be way easier once I ice this thing, but this thing is really hard to clean. That's a piece of meat we're looking at. Looks good to me, what do you think? I'm gonna, so I'm gonna rinse it off for you. Got all the sand off. Got our gorgeous piece of shark. That actually looks pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. So Brother. stoked, bro. Can't pre I can't say enough. Appreciate it, man. Awesome meeting you, bro. Nice to meet you as well, brother. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy. I will. I'll tag this video and let you know what I what I think. Let me know what you think, brother. We're gonna 
go ahead and clean up the rest of the shark here, you guys. We will see you back in the kitchen. All right, Weston, what do we got? Got some bull shark. We got some nice fresh bull shark for sure. Um, just got it all packaged up with some nice ice on the bottom. And we decided to do the right thing, give it away. No meat goes to waste. None. Here. Nada. Giving it away today. Yo. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Do you like fish? Yes, it is. <laughs> well, it tastes just like fish and chicken, so you're getting the best of both worlds. It's a change. <laughs> ah, awesome. You. Yes, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, boys and girls, we are back in the kitchen. Yes, I'm rocking the Rocky Balboa fit. I got the shirt tucked in and the sweaties and a beanie. And I'm ready. Annika, on the other hand, is not so ready. No, this video hasn't come out for you guys yet, but yesterday we went, we, it's not going out? No, I said she's not feeling good. <laughs> uh, yeah, moral of the story is we went fishing yesterday and I got a cold. It was too cold for Annika. She could not handle the elements, <laughs> as it were. Couldn't handle the elements, honey. No. So, with all that being said, with all that information being withheld from your bodies, we are gonna come over here, here, right here, and we're gonna make you some shark fin soup. Never thought I'd be saying that. We're cooking a bull shark. We killed a bull shark today. We got a whole variety of vegetables and we're looking forward to this dish. We got celery. You gotta have some celery. We got kale. It doesn't go stale. We got carrots. They're not only for parrots. E onion, cilantro, scallions for the Italians. Annika, bananica. Shiitake mushrooms. Well, you know what you say when you're talking about shiitake mushrooms. <laughs> What are those, Annika? Bean sprouts. Bean sprouts? Jack the Beanstalk? <laughs> Shark fin? Her name, and they used to sell it to her at the local seafood market, and her name was Lynn. <laughs> Chicken bone broth from Trader Joe's. So right here, this is what we got. So right now, there is garlic powder, Italian seasoning, garlic crushed herbs, oregano, olive oil, chicken, onions, and then Trader Joe's organic chicken bone broth. I guarantee you it's not organic, but we're gonna use it anyways. And we're gonna pour a couple cups of these until we're about full. Okay, so Annika's sick. She needs a good stock. We need bone broth, we need chicken stock. That's what we need. So that's what we're doing. And we want this to be flavorful, so we're gonna get our flavor from the chicken bone broth stock type ordeal. Add all of our vegetables, and then at the end, add the shark fin. So the only reason I know any of this is because I watched Victor's video. Shout out to my dog, Vic. Annika. <laughs> Just kidding. She's got like COVID or something. So I got this giant pot. Once this starts boiling, we're gonna add our shark fins. But right now, when are you listening to me? Cause I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Right now, you can go check out moveandweightfishing.com. I'm gonna have a sale. Tomorrow's Christmas. Let me show you the Christmas tree. It's right here. There's a Christmas tree. I am gonna have a sale on moving weight hoodies, moving weight beanies, moving weight hats, and moving weight rain jackets. 25% off until the new year. If you wanna get an early Christmas or like last minute Christmas present, I will ship it out in the next 24 hours from when this video is released. If by that time it's Christmas, you can still get a late present. <laughs> late presents are good. Don't think that you can't get a late present. If you are local, Jupiter Stewart area, or you want to drive to pick it up, if it's really that last minute of a gift, I will meet you if the order is over $100. The order has to be over $100. K 
cash always and then I will meet you. And that's that. Vamanos. All right, so we got our shark. We just dropped our shark fin in the pot, boiling water. We got three big shark fins. The other little scraps we gave away. We gave a lot, of, we gave this entire shark away pretty much. And I have literally two fillets and that's it. And we gave everything else away, which I'm super stoked about. I wanted, of course, the whole thing to be eaten. None of it went to waste. And then on top of that, as I was cleaning at the inlet, I was throwing the scraps behind me and the pelicans were eating all of it. So none of it went to waste. Okay, we have added ginger and green scallions in our stock. Not our, not our main stock, but our shark fin soup, I guess. Our boiling, oops. Here's our stock, we added some ginger in there, but we also added some ginger and scallions in here. And the shark fins are boiling. I wanna show you guys what it looks like. The water is super gray. It, it doesn't look appetizing whatsoever. And you can see, you can see the noodles are about ready. That's what we're looking for, are the noodles. You guys can see it's focusing on those little, looks like Asian noodles, or if you have ever caught or seen a conch. It looks like the conch's piston, which you eat, which is actually, it's Jonathan Foster, if you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this, this, this shark fin is pretty much ready to take out. I'm gonna give it another like, two minutes or so and let these scallions and ginger will come to life here and then I'm gonna take them out and rinse everything and, and try and pick pick those pistons, we'll call them pistons, pick the pistons out. All right, we are making Annika a little vegetable bowl right now before we go ahead and make our shark fin soup. Just had some broth? She needs it. Look at that broth. Take a look at that broth. Now, we are gonna cut up a couple scallions and a little bit of cilantro. But first, we're gonna throw in some of these little sprouts. Come over here. Throw in a couple. One more. A couple green onions for the crew. We're gonna come over here with the cilantro. Cilantro. A little bit of greens. Get her spoon. And that is your dish. We got a strainer. We got her shark fin. And it boiled for about 30 minutes. I don't know if that's how long I was supposed to do it for or not. And I actually have no idea. Ew. Look at the bottom of that. Okay. We got our shark fins and these are not bones. Don't be fooled, that's cartilage. But this is what we're after today. These little stringy things. They don't taste like anything. Exactly like the conch piston. They don't taste like anything. It's just kind of one of those things that's a delicacy, even though it doesn't have a taste. But that's okay. That's not what we're here today. We're here today to make shark fin soup. And this is what shark fin soup is all about. Now, I don't understand why you can't use that meat. Look at all that head meat. It's good. Johnson, I'm gonna put the meat in ours, okay? It tastes good. It just tastes like fish meat. But I'm gonna cool it down here. All these noodles, that is what we're looking for. I'm gonna rinse this, strain it all, and then 
start picking it. Go ahead. Okay, we got our shark fins and these are not bones, don't be fooled, that's cartilage. But this is what we're after today. These little stringy things. They don't taste like anything. Exactly like the conch piston. They don't taste like anything. It's just kind of one of those things that's a delicacy, even though it doesn't have a taste. But that's okay. That's not what we're here today. We're here today to make shark fin soup. And this is what shark fin soup is all about. Now, I don't understand why you can't use that meat. Look at all that head meat. It's good. Johnson, I'm gonna put the meat in ours, okay? It tastes good. It just tastes like fish meat. So all these noodles, that is what we're looking for. So I'm gonna rinse this, strain it all, and then start picking it. Now we are left with our, I don't know what you call these, like I said, I'm gonna call them pistons, but is it focused? Mm -hmm. This is what it is. This is what we're after. So we're just gonna kind of push them off the meat. They should slide right off like that. We're sliding off fairly easy. And after we put them on here, we're gonna strain them. Don't know how this came about. I, I know this is an Asian delicacy. We are replicating the Asian crew out there today, we're also gonna put some of the meat in there. Cause I think the meat is gonna be really good. Now that is the thing that people don't do. People don't put the meat in there, but you know what? To me, the meat looks delicious. So we're putting it in there. Look at this piece. It's a freaking tenderloin right here. Look at this. This is one of the weirder things I've ever done. Okay, we're making a plate here. Go ahead and check out that stock. It's so thick, it's absolutely gorgeous. We can add two vital ingredients. One is gonna be cilantro, and two is gonna be scallions. Three is gonna be our shark. Now we have pieces of the head meat, and we got the little noodles, and I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top. I'm just, there, look at that, there's a piece of cartilage in there. There's all that good stuff in there, but you know what? We're gonna eat all of it. I think it's all gonna be good. I don't wanna just throw the other stuff away. Like, apparently you're only supposed to eat the noodles, or that's what the delicacy is, but I guarantee you the other stuff is good. Look at that, look at those noodles. We're just gonna lay that right on top. And that, boys and girls, is shark fin soup at the Malusi household. Looking forward to it. John, come over here, let me fix you up. Mm. It has a really good flavor, seriously. I can't say I can taste those um, shark things. Yeah. I can't either. I just but taste good soup. I can taste the uh, texture of them. They're good, I like them. Look at I got a spoonful of noodles, mushrooms, kale. Let me add a carrot in there. A carrot, broth. I put, I, I did also add three eggs in here, which I saw that online as I was cooking. You have the shark meat in there? Mm-hmm. Mm. Maybe I'm chewing into the cartilage. Maybe that's it. It's got a nice... Mm. It's like fatty. It's good. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. I like it. I want to add more. Mm. You want more? No, it is the... Uh, Cartilage? No, the other thing that you pulled off. It looks like a noodle. Yeah, that's what it is. I called it a piston. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, that has. that's the thing that has that texture, and it's good. That's a pretty darn good soup, Johns. It is. It's actually one of the best soups I've had in a while. I'm not gonna 
I'm not gonna brag or anything, but it's pretty good. Mmm. Okay, That's some banging soup. I'm gonna give it to myself here. That's really good. I'm I'm actually surprised. I've never cooked soup. I just threw a lot of things in a pot. Mmm. Okay, I got a mouthful of noodles there, or pistons, whatever you call them. One popped out of the mouth, it's still swimming. And they're chewy. It tastes like a conch piston. I guess the consistency is a delicacy in Asia. Alrighty, boys and girls, if you appreciated today's video, go ahead, drop a like if you have not already. If you haven't dropped a like, you probably a loser in my book. I don't know. Drop a like. It helps me out. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Check out our merchandise, movingwayfishing.com. Book a charter. Support. Remember, there's a sale going on. There is a sale going on. Mrs. COVID. Annika's got the vid. Who knows what she's got, but it doesn't it doesn't matter. It's just a sickness. It's all the same. Right? So we're gonna grub out. I have and absolutely, so I don't know why it is, but when I cook, this is what the kitchen looks like. Look at the sink. Not stoked. I'm going to sit down and enjoy this meal and then get to cleaning. Until next video, moving weights out.